determine if the sequence converges or diverges if it converges determine its limit and we are given the generic term a n for we always find the limit as n goes to infinity of 4 4 raised to n over 2n plus 1 4 raised to something this is an exponential function which is always continuous so we can take this limit to the exponent so this limit is same as 4 raised to limit of n over 2n plus 1 as n goes to infinity okay now we find this limit and we this when n goes to infinity we got n over 2n n is the leading term 2n is the leading term so n over 2n is same as one half okay uh, we can forget about plus one when we find the infinite limit the leaders the leading terms only the leading terms matter so n over 2n so one half so this is same as 4 raised to this limit is one half and uh, one half something raised to one half is same as square root right and that's two so the limit of this a n is two that means the sequence converges to two the sequence converges to two let's find the limit here of 2n quantity square over 3n plus 1 square this is something is square this is square function is always continuous that means we can take this limit inside so this will be square of this limit 2n over 3n plus 1 and this infinite limit for this function only the leading terms matter so 2n over 3n 2n over 3n and n cancel two thirds so this limit will be just the ratio of the leading terms two thirds so two thirds square which is 2 is square 4 over 3 square 9 4 9 so the limit of this generic term is 4 ninth that means this sequence converges to 4 ninth the sequence converges to 4 over 9 okay let's find the limit here limit n goes to infinity of 3 raised to n over n square plus 1 again like part h 3 raised to something this is an exponential function which is always continuous so we can take this limit to the exponent so this limit is same as 3 raised to limit n goes to infinity of n over n square plus 1 that is 3 raised to let's find this limit again we only consider for this infinite limit we can only consider the leading term so n over n square and n over n square one copy of n and cancel so just one over n okay this is one over n and when n goes to infinity one over n one is fixed n goes to infinity so one over infinity which is zero so this limit is in fact zero okay so three raised to zero is one that means this sequence converges to one let me erase this part the sequence converges to 1 